That's how this works. Okay. Uh, this is a song I wrote for my father. I have to do a quick intro on this. My father is probably the greatest man I've ever known. Uh, my grandfather came to this country with nothing. Uh, my, when, my, when World War II broke out, my father uh, got into the draft, or no, instead of going into the draft, he went the army. I uh, got shipped over to, uh, to uh, uh, England, where he sat until D-Day. Then my father landed on the beach in uh, Omaha, which is the worst beach to land. When you see Saving Private Ryan, that was the beach that my father landed on. Uh, he fought his way through Germany, or fought his way through Europe, uh, and he got to Germany, uh, and uh, had been wounded twice. And uh, he was sitting in a foxhole uh, Christmas Eve uh, on, uh, in 1944. I know this because my mother had found a letter that he had written home to uh, his former high school principal. Uh, the title of the letter was Christmas Eve, so we're in Germany, 1944. And, uh, and the whole letter was about why he couldn't figure out why there wasn't a better way to solve our problems in this world than trying to kill each other all the time, that there had to be a better way for us to live. And it gave me a chance to get to know my father when he was 21, and as much as I love my father, I gave a lot more respect for my father just because of getting to know him at that age. I then learned uh, since then that he had uh, liberated two Nazi concentration camps. Uh, where he was carrying people out uh, that could not walk. And it was the first time I ever heard my father say, if I would have run into a German soldier, I would have killed him with my bare hands. So, sorry. I get a little emotional when I talk about my dad. Anyway, I'll, I'll get it together. It's a song called Ordinary People.
first time Charlie played that for me, I couldn't even talk. Which is a hard thing for me to do. <laughs> <laughs>